Father, thank you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. We exalt your name because you are faithful. Thank you because you are always there with us. You are always there to direct. You are always there to lead. Father, we return praise to you tonight. Thank you for making it possible for us again to gather. Oh, glory to God. I'm excited again in God's presence tonight for making it possible for us to see 2021 and most especially the start of this season with our prayers. We want to appreciate every one of you who joined us last year for prayer for the nation at Dardem Multimedia International. You joined us to pray for this nation. I tell you, indeed, God answered our prayer. Without prayer, possibly by now, what shall we be saying? The nation will have been in chaos. But in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the storm, the Lord came. And the Lord deliver his people. And that's why we're excited again. I've, I've been waiting on the Lord for a period of time. And God has given us another instruction for this season. Especially in the area of our prayers. We're back again with you this year. We're back again to pray together. We're back again oh, to lift up our voice to God. Over this nation, we are called as watchmen. We are called to pray. He said, if my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will hear their land. We want to appreciate every one of you for being part of that assignment last year. And we trust God that you were not left out in your own testimony. But this year, what is the Lord saying to us? The Lord is saying to us this year, as we have seen in our flyers, that the nation needs to pray. Last year, we were praying for the nation. But this year, God has given us instruction that the nation should pray. And that's why you saw on our caption, the nation prays. The Bible was referring to Esau and Jacob as the nation in their mother's womb. And God said to us at the beginning of the year that the land is blessed because you have prayed. Because he said, my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray. He said, I will heal their land. And that's exactly what God has done last year. He healed our land. But this year, he wants his people to take possession of of the blessing that he has released upon the land and that's why he wants the nation to pray that means the people the people the people so by the grace of god this year you and myself will be praying to command and to take possession of the blessings of god upon the land and making it a reality in our lives and that's when God will be glorified, that they may see thy works and be glorified, and the Father shall be glorified. So this year, by the grace of God, in each of our prayer sections, we'll be having directions uh, of prayers where we are able to release ourselves into each of the months in the year of the plan and the purpose of God. To become reality in our lives and that's why i'm excited to announce to you that the month of february by the grace of god we're going to be looking at the subject of divine direction you know so many people um once they hear god one time the belief when you hear god the very first time you don't need to hear again but god's instruction keeps coming God's instruction keeps coming and is dynamic in his ways. So, by the grace of God, this year, February, we're going to be talking about uh, divine direction. So many of us, we have been living our lives 
in the way we wish, in the way we want, in the in, in, in our own way. Bible speaking in the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. He said, there is a way that seems right unto men, but the end thereof is death. Hear me, people of God. A man that loses direction is a man that hangs up in frustration. I say that again. A man that loses direction is a man that ends up in frustration. Beloved, life is too short to live your life in trials and error. No, it's too short. We don't have such leisure of time to play with by going in different direction, trying different options. No, no. The assignment at hand is too enormous for us to lose time doing the relevance. We cannot afford that. And that's why this morning God will be speaking to us and guiding and directing us in divine direction to his purpose, to his plan. You cannot win the prize of life running on your own track. It's not possible. So there is need for us this morning to begin to appropriate to ourselves, to begin to align ourselves into the plan and the purpose of God, to know where we need to go, to know the direction in which we need to follow. You know, many times we are too proud of ourselves that we decide to lead a man that knows the way. What is it going to cost us to follow the one that knows the way? You know, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me during the week. He said, leading the man that knows where the journey of life ends, we only ends in futility. When you are leading the man that knows the way, he makes your journey ends in futility. So what do you do? You follow the man that knows the way. It, is, it saves you time. It saves you resources. When you simply walk with the one that knows the hand from the beginning. No wonder the Bible is speaking in the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. It said declaring the end and the result from the beginning. And from ancient times the things which have not yet been done. Saying my purpose will be established. And I will do all that pleases me. And I will fulfill my purpose. Is the alpha and the omega. Is the beginning and the end. So he knows the end from the beginning. So this month, by the grace of God, we're going to be appropriating all of that God's plan and purpose, you know, the direction in which he wants this year to go for us in your career, in your businesses. We're going to be trusting God in prayer, that God in our businesses, Lord, that God will be looking to lead us in the direction to follow. You know, many people are in confusion today. They are in trouble. They are in tumor. They are in storm because of the fact that they have walked their way into error. How can you know better than the manufacturer? Is the one, the Bible says, is the way, the truth, and the life. Is the way. Not that it's just going to show us the way. Is the way. So the man that is the way already knows the way. He knows the end of the road. He knows the end of the journey. So that career that you want to choose, he already knows what you're going to make out of it. He already knows that marriage that you are entering into. He already knows what the end of that journey will be for you. In that job that you want to take, he already knows what is going to be happening for you in that office. In that ministry you want to embark upon, he already knows what the end of that ministry will be. That career that you have chosen, he already knows. So, it saves us time and resources to align ourselves into that divine direction in which God himself has proposed. Just as he said in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. So this morning, by the grace of God, I'm so excited that we're going to be talking directly in this direction in month of February. And we're going to be praying, appropriating ourselves into such plan. You don't know what you're missing if you don't walk in clarity. 
You don't know what you're missing if you don't walk in clarity. This month, I'm trusting God with you that by the grace of God, you're going to be walking in clarity in that job, in that marriage. You're going to be walking in clarity in the instructions that God is going to be giving. There's going to be clarity for you. There's going to be directions for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, there are things I would just like you to take note of this month as we pray alongside together. There are keys I would like you to just have in your mind as you pray. You know, number one is that life discover God's plan. You need to discover God's plan for your life. You need to discover God's plan for your life. Praise the Lord. Number two, you need to be willing to be led. He said, for those who are led by the Spirit of God, are called the sons of God. And you remember the story of David. 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. The Bible says, And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after the truth? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake and without fear you will recover all. So what if David has not actually inquired of the Lord? So I want you to prepare your mind this month to humble your heart. Be willing to be led of God. Praise God. Praise God. And also know that the direction of God is a promise. Is a promise. Psalm 32 verse 8. He said, I will instruct you, says the Lord, and guide you along the best path for your life. And I will advise you and watch your progress. Psalm 32 verse 8. So please, this month, I want your heart to be open. Be ready. That is a promise of God for us. So we need to appropriate that promise into our lives. That God himself will be instructing us. He will be leading us in the best part of life. And it will watch our progress as we move forward in those directions of God. Praise God. Praise God. I also want you to know that the Holy Spirit is there for you this morning. Just let your heart be open. The Bible says in John chapter 16 verse 13. He said, when the Holy Spirit, who is the truth, comes, he will guide you into all truths. For he will not present his own idea, but will be passing on to you what he has heard. It will tell you about the future. That's going to be the role of the Holy Spirit in our life this month. So I want your mind to be open, be prepared as we go through these prayers, as we go through each of, of, of the leadings of God in, in this month in prayers, praying for the nation, praying for ourselves, trusting God that God will give direction to our leaders, that God will give direction to everyone in position of power. To move the nation forward, that God will be giving our own life direction to align with His purpose and plan. Get ready, the people of God. By the grace of God, every Friday we're going to be praying. Every Friday by four o'clock, we're going to gather together to pray. I want you to invite your friends, your neighbors, everybody on your way back from work. Connect online. On Dadem Multimedia International, on YouTube, Dadem Online TV. Let's together pray this, year, this month for God's direction. It's going to make your journey this year to be simple. It's going to make the journey to be easy. It's going to make the journey to, 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 to be smooth. You will find rest when you walk in God's direction. I trust the Holy Spirit this month to empower us as we pray, to equip us as we pray. To give us direction of prayers. So by next week, please connect with us to pray. And we trust God of heaven that the Holy Spirit will energize us. We'll begin to see result. Begin to see result. The nation is moving to a direction that we all cannot understand. So we need to ask God, Father, we want God's direction for the nation. To be fulfilled we want god's direction for our own life to be fulfilled praise god so i believe you're excited with me to to be in god's presence uh, by, by by friday connecting with us by 4 p.m i'll be here with other uh, pastors who will be connecting with us from 
everywhere all over the world we're going to be lifting up our voice to God to pray the year is still very young right now you see how few months ahead of you so God can still connect you to his purpose God can still connect you to to the direction of what he wants you to fulfill this year if you have not gotten one and if you have gotten one you need clarity that God will be giving you clarity in those directions that he has led you and I believe your testimony will surely come in the name of Jesus God bless you 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 take grace as we move forward this year in the name of Jesus Christ I love you see you next week I appreciate you.